guys welcome back so as you guys can see i'm not with my usual partner i really wanted to film because i know you guys were asking for another video and we initially filmed uh february favorites but we're having a little trouble trying to find a way to edit because if you guys know we don't have any um software so right now we're using imovie on our phone you know because it's the only thing that's free but yeah so she's not here today but i'm here and i really want to film a video we're going to put up the february favorites later we're going to be filming a haul now this is a mixture okay it's makeup i don't think i have any skincare but we definitely have makeup and clothing and i went to sephora ulta h&m and i think think walmart sorry for the little noise bag I, I should have prepared and laid it all out but right now the setup is not set up yet <laughs> so kind of filming in my closet right now so if the lighting is terrible just 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 don't pay attention to the lighting just pay attention to the products concentrate on that because that's what i'm going to show you what i got from walmart first and they have like a lot of cute things for um the springtime and I saw these and I was like these are way too cute for Walmart right so it's like a I want to see like a kimono or a a, a a shawl or something like that well let me show you I know I'm totally blocking my face but you guys want to see the clothing not my face um so it's like a little kimono type of thing. It's very sheer, which I like because I can wear it on springtime. And it has these little, what, what are these, tassels? What are these? Uh, I don't know the correct terminology or anything like that. But yeah, and it's super cute. It's florally. And I like it because I have one similar to this in black. And it's more bright. But it's it's too long. And mind you, I got a small. It's too long. So this one fits just right because the sleeves are just short enough. And the length is just right. So I was like, oh my god, this is made for me. And this was $12.88. So it's not even it's not even that expensive. I also got one in this cute, I'm going to say Aztec tribal print type of thing. And it's like the same thing, same size, and it has these little fringe, fringe, this little fringe at the bottom. And it's just the same, and this one was $12.88 as well. So definitely check out Walmart. They have some really nice uh, things for springtime. You know, never, never knock it. Just go in there and see and try it. And it's really not that expensive. Let's move on to H&M. I got me a couple of jeans. Now... I don't know what you guys would call these. These are jeans for me because I don't like actual jeans. Like I'm not the um I'm not the skinniest, so it kind of presses down really hard on my belly and it's just uncomfortable because the material is so thick. I know you guys are probably like, oh my god, but I, I really don't like Yeah, them. so when I seen these and I try these, they fit just right, like in all the places, fit just right. And I got two colors and I mean they just they're skinny super stretch uh, doesn't say like jeans or anything like that but they're just like a little bit thinner material and they don't have um these ones at least don't have the um the buttons or zipper and you know these are faux pockets but I don't, I don't mind because I don't use the pockets on my jeans anyway so I just got this plain I don't know if you guys can see this plain color and they are skinny at the bottom they go pretty tight on me so and these were $17.95 and then I got this one which is more like jean looking because it has the little the little button and the zipper and this is just a light wash and I don't know, I kind of like it. And this one fits just right too. And this one I think was a little bit more expensive, but it's the same skinny, super stretch. And these one were $19.95. So not bad. They have some really cute ones, you know, with like um 
uh, distressed and all that. But they were $50. And I'm like, no. Just, no. So, that's all the clothing items that I have. So, let's move on to the goodies. I love the store. They always hook me up. You just, you don't even know. Um, let's start off with Sephora because I think I only got one thing from there. The Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Which looks like this. And then you guys are probably seeing it the other way. It looks like that. The puff is so soft and so cute. But I'm kind of mad that it doesn't fit in the jar. So, it's kind of a downer. But. I don't use that anyway. I use a brush, but, um, yeah. So this is a pretty good, yeah, they have the big tub. Like, this is not the big tub. They have a big tub. That was, like, 30-something dollars. I was like, that, that's, it's not going to work. And so when I was about to cash out, I seen this, and I was like, is this what I need? So I had to double check that it was, um, translucent, and it was. And I was like, ooh, give me that. It's mine now. I hit the jackpot. So that's the only thing I gotta say. I'm wearing it right now, and I gotta say, I kind of like it a lot. It's, um, CVS 2, which I got today, and I believe I used everything that I bought on my face today because I was so excited. And I put it back in the packaging because I wanted you guys to see. All this stuff that I'm gonna show now is from Ulta. This is the, the Tarte Smooth Operator. Amazonian Clay Tinted Press Finishing Powder. <sighs> that's really a long name. I wish they would just be like, Finishing Powder. Because that's really what it is. Um, and I am in the color Light. And the packaging is freaking adorable. And it comes with a little sponge. But I took it out because I, I don't use these. So I just, I'll just keep it on the box, I guess. Um... The packaging is so cute. It's like yellowy, but not too yellow. I don't think it's going to pick up really how yellow it is. Maybe. Mm, no. But I like it. I'm wearing it on my face right now. And it actually smoothed everything out. It gave me just a tad bit more color. I didn't pack it on. I just lightly dusted it. It gave you just a tad bit more color. But... I like it. We'll see how it, you know, if you guys are interested, you know, comment down below and I will definitely keep you guys updated on any of these products. I had like a $10 off that um, Ulta sent me. Uh, so I definitely stocked up on this and I got this just because, you know, I wanted to try something else from them. I was going to get the blush, but then I found something that was cheaper that was very similar. So I decided to just get this, which is the Tarte Inner Rim Liner. And I'm going to say this is like a nude one, which I'm also wearing, and I kind of like it. I mean, it's just a nude liner, but mm -hmm, kind of like it. You see how I'm like putting it back? I'm weird like that. And when this video finishes, I'm going to take it right back off and put it in my makeup collection, so. Kind of pointless, but I don't know, I feel like I need to put it back in the packaging. And somebody else like that. Okay, next thing, which also I'm wearing right now, and you guys let me know how you like it, is the... What is this called? NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade, which is basically like a dip brow dupe. And I've been looking for the new spring NYX things forever. My Ulta, it's like as soon as they get the whole shipment in, if I go the next day, everything is gone. I've been looking for the Angel Prime, the Angel Veil Primer forever. And every time I go in there, they don't even have the tester. I'm like... What is going on? So this is the NYX Tame and Frame. And I am in the color black. The colors are kind of weird with this. So I mean for all I know this could possibly not be my color. But it just looks like a really, really deep brown. It's definitely not like jet black. Just like a deep brown. And I'm wearing it on my eyebrows right now. Just like to like um define it and then I filled it in with the next product that I'm going to show you guys and I mean I, I like this but I don't know what do you guys think about my eyebrows do they look like bam or I don't know I don't know let me know let me know down this is what I used to fill it in is the micro brow pencil by NYX and I like this I can't tell you if it's a dupe for the 
brow waves, which I do have, but I'm going to use this for a little bit to see if I like this better. And if I do, I'm going to keep on buying this one, you know, as long as I have it in store. And I am in the color, well, I'm in the color, I picked up the color black, which I think is a pretty, you know, I think it's a pretty good match. My eyebrows are pretty black, so, um... And it's just like the brow is, you know, skinny, just the same. It has a spoolie on the other side. So it's just a matter of seeing if um, you like the actual product better. And so far, I do. But like I said, I'll keep you guys updated. If you guys want, you know, just make sure you go down there and let me know. I will definitely keep you guys updated to see if I like it, if I don't like it, or, you know, what's going on. Then I picked up the NYX Skinny Mascara, which I've been I've been dying to get my hands on because right now I'm using the Maybelline Lash Discovery, which is good. But this brush is so tiny. And I don't know if you guys can see how tiny that is. But this is genius. Okay. Thank you, NYX, for creating this because I will definitely stock up now to make sure that I never am out of this. It just, you can actually see my bottom lashes. The the brush is kind of thicker, so you know, you're more prone to actually, you know, smudge it. But oh, this, is, this is so Next, good. NYX product, Dang, I went ham on NYX section. It's cause they usually never have these. They never had them, that was like, just give me, give me, give me. The, I think HD blush. I, I'm not quite sure what they're calling these now. Um, this is in the color Pink the Town which is so nice first of all the color is nice second of all they're so soft so soft this is the color isn't that so pretty Aww. it's definitely like a pink peach but perfect for spring of course but oh. And it's not like matte. It has like a sheen to it. I don't know if you guys can... I don't know if you guys picked that up. But it's definitely not like glitter or... I don't know. It's like very, very subtle. But I love it. And this is the last thing that I picked up from Ulta. They were having like 20% off on these. And I actually needed one. But they didn't have the one that I regularly get. Which is like the lemon one. Which I love. This is the Pacifica Super Hydrating Hand Cream. And this is an Island Vanilla. And I love this. I love this. The scent, I mean, it's vanilla. It's vanilla. But I don't mind it. But I definitely recommend the other scent better. It's like lemon something. I think it's the only lemon um, scent that they have in the line. It's so good. And I love this. I love this hand cream. I really do. I'm not sure if I'm going to really love this scent. I really love the other one. But the actual product is really good. Definitely recommend that if you're stopping uh, and you need hand cream. Definitely go by over there and check that out. And then I have just a couple of more. Get that out of the way. A couple more things that I just picked up today at CVS. The Milani Powder Blush in Tea Rose Adorable. And a lot of people have been talking about these. And I stacked so many coupons on this that I only got it for three dollars and you know CVS it was like nine dollar blush so I definitely definitely got the good end of the deal there let me swatch this for you guys really quickly it's definitely you know more pink than the um, the other one that I showed you guys and you guys see them side by side this one is the NYX one and this one is the Milani one so this one is really soft too. I just find that it's a little bit challenging to try to swatch it because it's like such a like nice print. So it's kind of like bumpy. So it kind of swatches a little bit patchy, but it doesn't go like that on your face. And I'm kind of liking so far. So we'll see. I don't know. Next two I have are Maybelline um, lipsticks. So I think it's the Rebel Bloom collection. Um... These ones. One of them I'm wearing right now, so we'll talk about that one first. This is 730 Orchid Ecstasy. Now I like these lipsticks, let me tell you that. And they're creamy and they are pigmented, but they're pigmented sheared. If, I, I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but 
um, this is Orchid Fantasy, or Orchid Ecstasy, my bad. <laughs> And this is such a pretty color. Now you will look at this and you would be like, oh my god, but oh my god, just just look at my lips. It's like a pinky purple. Oh, so pretty. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. I love this. I love this. Um, the next one is Peach Poppy. And this is like definitely a more um corally pink but more coral than pink and let me swatch this one because i didn't the other one's on my lips so i figured you guys don't need to see that that's it right there oh that's so pretty oh my god and i can't wait to wear that one um yeah. That brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys pick up some of these products. Um, definitely I would suggest, you know, looking where it's cheaper, getting coupons, you know, so you guys don't have to pay full price for everything. If you have any questions or anything, you know, information will be down below. And give a like if you missed my my other half over here. And definitely let her know in the comments that you want her to be in the next video. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe. If you watch this video, please subscribe. If you guys really like some of these products that we mentioned, you know, leave it down below. Or if you have anything that you picked up that you liked, leave it down below so we can both um so we can both pick it up and we can let me know about the brows if you guys think that the tame and frame thing if i should continue using this or no or my brows look a little too you know too too wacky or something like that just let me know and hopefully the next video you will see will be february favorites which actually now makes sense i should we should probably be refilling it because i feel like some of these are already going to be my favorites but i just picked these up so maybe next month they will be on the favorites though watch out for that okay. enough rambling i will let you guys go Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.